Yeah, the, the power of poetry is that everybody experiences it differently. There are no rules for what makes a great poem. Instead, a great poem is one that resonates with us, that challenges us, and that teaches us something about ourselves and the world that we live in. Achieved flight, that swift and serene magnificence before the earth remembered who we were and brought us down. So your work was to think about what does that last part mean? The earth remembered who we were and brought us down. What do you think? She said we achieved flight, so we were dancing. Well, I, I've always been a teacher. I started by teaching all my cousins how to swim in our swimming pool, so, and none of them drown. Everybody's safe, everybody's healthy. One of the things I like about Ms. Pringle is that the things that she teaches us connects to our life. My favorite thing about Ms. Pringle is that She's a very lovable person. She takes her time to actually build a relationship with her students. She keeps it real and she comes as she is. My name is Jennifer Pringle and I teach English at Rose City High School. But um, I've been, I, I don't think it's just English. We do journalism, we do, we made a library, we do special projects, we run around at the Huntington. Um, we do lots of things, so. Being inside Ms. Pringle's class, you could like be open-minded and like talk about anything. It's like it's like a community inside a room, and everybody could just be themselves. In our classroom culture is one where um, each student's voice is it should be heard, and so I work so that they we can hear those voices. It makes me feel love, you know, and, like I actually cared about. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, an, it, I just feel, I, I'm, I'm so lucky because I get to learn about so many people. I get to be a small part of their success in life. Well, I've had like, like really like bad personal situations where I needed some help and she'll be there and talk to me like one-on-one. -on -one. Um, she shows that she cares about her, not only me, but her whole class. I just, I enjoy their company so much. I just, it's, it's fun every day. I have people to talk to every day. I have a captive audience to listen to my terrible jokes. And they have no choice. They have to hear, well, they could tune me out, I guess, but they're, they're a nice audience. They're good. Yeah, Ms. Pringle definitely has a, a quirk to her. She, she has her jokes, and most of her jokes are funny, but corny at the same time. It depends on what she's talking about. I felt like it would be boring if she wasn't here. I think she feels accomplished, you know. She wanted to be a teacher and seeing other students succeed and pass in her class and understand what she's doing and knowing she, what she's doing is right. I feel like she feels proud and accomplished. Um, what I like best about teaching is that no two days are the same and it's always different every single day there's something different in every period so it doesn't matter if I we're reading the exact same poem or we're reading the same exact news article it's there's always something different that comes out of it so I like that um, we it, it doesn't get stale it doesn't get old I feel like she does it because she really wants the best for her students and she wants her students to believe in themselves and she made me. She made me believe in myself, so I feel like it's working. Um, it's it's really reassuring that like I don't have to worry about that I'm not gonna get the subject because she really like she like I said she does stick with you until you get it until you, like you understand the subject. I I hope that they find the they find something that makes them happy. They find that thing professionally, personally, hopefully both that um, gives them purpose, that gives them meaning, gives them joy in life. So I hope that whatever I do here can help them with those skills to get, get to that place that they want to be. I feel like she cares because it's, it's in her heart and she doesn't want to see anybody fail, you know? You never want to see anyone, you always want to help them out. And I, I think that it's not about labeling a student as bad or good or another person. It's every human being has something that's cool about them that maybe nobody knows about. It means a lot because there's not really that many people that I could trust and like generally love like that. So yeah, it means a lot to me. 
Ms. Pringle, thank you for helping me understand more about myself by getting me into a bunch of stuff like poetry and writing, making me in sync with my inner self. And for that, I thank you. Ms. Pringle, thank you for everything. Just helping everybody you can and just trying to be the best teacher you are. It's like if she's like, like my mom, you know, um, like my favorite teacher. And yeah. I honestly feel like my life would like not be the way it is right now. It wouldn't be coordinated right. And I probably wouldn't even be graduating if it wasn't for her. So yeah. Ms. Pringle, thanks for being an awesome teacher. Ms. Pringle, thank you for everything. I mean, like, like your your experience that you be talking about, and yeah. Ms. Pringle, thank you for being a great inspiration and a great teacher. Congratulations on being an awesome teacher. Yes. There we go. Nailed it. Oh. Congratulations on being an awesome teacher. Ms. Pringle, congratulations on being an awesome teacher. Ms. Pringle, congratulations for being an awesome teacher. Ms. Pringle, thank you for being such a great teacher and having a lot of patience for students and like having like like showing like that you care about everybody like that shows up to your class. Ms. Pringle, thank you for building a relationship with me and making me feel loved when I thought no one, nobody else was there for me and I really appreciate it.